All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of High Pixel Skyblock. And today I'm going to be showing you guys something that is really, really insane. Um, it's like a new grinder design that I think is going to be pretty game changing for a lot of people who have uh, still been working a little bit with the Slayer update. But before I get into that, I want to quickly tell you guys I am doing a massive, massive giveaway in partnership with the Dragon's Den Discord and a couple other YouTubers. And when I say massive giveaway, this thing is insane. I'm, I'm guaranteeing you right now, even if you're like one of the most OP players in the server, you are probably going to still want to enter this giveaway. I'll be putting the link where you can find the giveaway in the top line of the description of this video if you guys want to check it out. But just to give you guys a quick like synopsis of what's in the giveaway it includes a total of over 100 million coins in skyblock items that includes stuff like a full set of superior dragon fully enchanted fully reforged for you um, an aspect of the dragons runins and scorpion bows and we even have stuff in there like a year of mvp plus plus and a lifetime mvp plus rank so yeah there's a ton of crazy stuff in there i think there's going to be four or five maybe even six winners total i forget what the exact number is it's somewhere in that range though so if you guys want to enter that once again the link will be in the top line description i just want to make sure i advertise that for you guys though because i know there are going to be a lot of you wanting to enter that so make sure you check it out if you're looking um, to maybe win some free stuff. But now that we have that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this new game-changing grinder. Um, but now, before I get into it too much, keep in mind, this is really more of like a concept or like a prototype more than it is like a finished product. Because when it comes to grinder stuff, I'm definitely not like a master at it. So this was just kind of an idea I had and then my island member Golden helped me go through and set everything up for it. So big shout out to him. But I'm sure there are still things that could be improved. We kind of just had to do like some weird and different things with the setup of the grinder in order to make it actually work. But basically, as you can see here, at first glance, it just looks like your typical run of the mill fall grinder for spiders here. We just have three tier eight spider minions set up, spawning the spiders and then they fall down into this pit down here. But this grinder is actually used for getting kills on your tarantula armor set while you're AFK. Now you may be asking, how does that work? Well, so when the spiders fall all the way down to this pit here, we have it set up where they will typically survive, as you can see here, with around like anywhere from five five to 10 health. I'm gonna go ahead and clear these ones out really quickly because they've been stacking up here for a while. But then because I have thorns three on every single piece of my tarantula armor, when they attack me, they will actually take damage. And since they're so low health, they should only have to attack me maybe once or twice in order to take enough damage from the die. Now, the problem as you can see here is if I were just like in an AFK pool permanently down at the bottom here, for some reason when they fall down here, they don't actually aggro on me, which is why we have this little setup right here where you actually bounce between um, teleport pads that send you up to the very top and then back down here. Now, I have no idea how this fixes it, but you'll see now that I've gone up to the top of the grinder again and come back down, they actually will start to aggro me. Then we've also gone ahead and made a little strip of soul sand here on the grinder. Um, so you move a little bit slower so the spiders have a little bit more time to attack you and that way a couple more of them will die. Like I said though, this design is still not perfect. You'll see here, sometimes they don't really seem to actually like be hitting me. Sometimes it seems like it's not working great. Right now it's actually working pretty well. You can see like just this trip, I've gotten like four or five kills right there. I actually cleared them all out. And you will see these kills actually do count towards the armor as well. So right now on the helmet, you see I have 10,322, just got a kill. It went up to 10,323, got another kill, 324. Now I think I could honestly get this to work a lot better and be a lot more efficient if we could permanently stay on the bottom level here. But again, the problem is that when you stay on the bottom level like this, they just like don't aggro you. Like you can see right now, these four spiders are piling up, none of them aggro me. If I just go through this teleporter, go back to the top and come back down, they will all be aggroed on me. So I'm not sure what exactly is causing that, but I think at least some form of teleport pad is definitely gonna be 100% crucial to this design um, because of this like issue with getting the spiders to aggro you. Now, another thing to keep in mind with this design is that you are gonna be getting kills a lot slower than you would be if you were to grind like spiders manually somehow, whether it be through minions or whether it be like by going to the spider's den and just killing them there. But keep in mind, this is pretty much only for AFK purposes. So like for my island, we're already AFKing our island as much as possible um, since we have that magma grinder set up right down there. And so this is just like basically an alternate AFK pool that we can use for our island that will actually serve another purpose by allowing me to get kills on my tarantula set while I'm AFKing. And the number of kills you get is also obviously gonna depend on how many minion slots and how high of tier spider minions you are going to be willing to commit to this grinder. Like you can see here, we don't wanna take down our other AFK farms. So at the moment, we are only committing three minion slots to it, but we do have all of them at tier eight. So they are fairly high tier spider minions 
Um, so their action time is all the way down to 20 seconds. So yeah, that should be about enough for like an explanation of how the grinder and everything works. So I guess the last thing we'll do to kind of go ahead and test out how well this grinder works, again, with our exact setup here of three tier eight spider minions. Um, what I'll do is I'll AFK the grinder for 30 minutes and I'll just see how many kills get added to my tarantula set here. So I will go down here, clear out all these spiders. At the moment, I am at 10,000. 347 kills on the helmet so we'll use the helmet to keep track of things i'll go ahead and set a timer for 30 minutes right now and i will be back for you guys when that timer is up all right so 30 minutes is up i'm getting out of that pit right there um so i don't get any extra kills after 30 minutes has gone by and you guys say my results are rigged or something like that but currently on the helmet we have 10,597 kills we started with 10,347, which means in 30 minutes we got exactly, which is kind of surprising, came out to an exact number like that, um, 250 kills. So that means that in an hour using this grinder setup, I would be able to get 500 kills for every piece of my tarantula armor, which again, that's not a lot, right? If you were like grinding spiders yourself for a full hour, you could definitely get more than 500 kills. But the thing that's really nice about this version of like grinding for the kills is that you could just set your computer up to AFK while you're sleeping and get this, right? So let's say, you know, you AFK for like 12 hours or something while you're sleeping, while you're going to school, whatever, you would be able to get in 12 hours, 6,000 kills for your arm, which for me actually would be like a really nice upgrade right now. I'm only at 10,000, so that would get me well over to the next piece upgrade of 15,000 on all of these. And keep in mind, this is only with three minions too. I'm not sure how well the design would hold up if I change this to like, you know, six or seven minions or something, you know, like that, because I'm not actually sure if my thorns would be able to kill the spiders fast enough or if something would go wrong with that type of design there. Because again, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is more of like a concept right now we don't have like a perfect design if you guys have ideas on how we could make this better how we can improve it definitely let me know in the comment section i would love to uh, hear those ideas i'm definitely gonna be making use of this because like i said we're already afking our island all the time and i want to get some more kills on this tarantula armor so i am totally fine with just afking this spot instead of hopping in an afk pool like somewhere over where on this side i think um that's not even going to be helping me grind towards anything at all right oh yeah and actually one quick thing that i should have mentioned at the beginning i can't believe i completely forgot if you do have an intimidation talisman you're going to want to make sure you put that away in like a backpack or ender chest or something like that while you're afking this so yeah that was the last thing about the design i wanted to mention um hopefully this video was helpful for you guys if you enjoyed it and you haven't done so already make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop a like on the video and once again make sure you guys check out that giveaway Away. you're gonna want to enter it there's lots of good prizes in there again like i said even if you're like a really op player there is still items in there uh that you are going to want to enter for if i wasn't hosting the giveaway i would 100 be entering it myself thanks for watching guys i will see you in my next video hopefully very very soon see you guys then peace